In previous versions of Lyric, we had a property menu called Transition Properties. Now, I have Lyric 8.8 .8 open right now, and this is what the Transition Properties look like. It had a Message Properties window at the top, and it had an Event Properties window in the middle. And then at the bottom, this is where the we added uh, default properties and properties to our transitions along here. So for instance, if I wanted to add a transition and call it master, I then had to get those elements into the scene by clicking add. And I could set prevent reactivation if I wanted here, and if I wanted to configure a hotkey, uh, let's say I wanted to put in F4, that's where I did it in the transition properties. So the transition properties was really in three different sections. Now in the new version of Lyric, we're going to switch over to Lyric X. Again, we've eliminated the transition properties. But we still need a menu for the scene properties. So the scene properties, this is where we would name the scene, give it a description if we wanted to, make it persistent change the priority of that scene, add a background to that scene. So anything related to the scene happens in the scene properties like the preview frame and so forth and rendering mode. So we do have a scene properties window, but the other two sections for events and for the transition properties, we don't have a menu for that. We've simplified the process. So let's first look at the timeline. So I'm just going to add an element to the timeline. And we'll move it somewhere. Now if I want that to be looping, it's a simple right click on that element in the timeline. Right click and set it to loop. And the timeline changes to have that, those lines and that element will keep looping. We can set it to hold first frame or hold last frame from there, reverse the animation, copy the track, add new keyframes, copy animation state. So all of that is done by simply right-clicking on that element in the timeline. This little button is for setting it for inherit state. So all of that information is done from the timeline. So let's call up the scene again. If I wanted to add a transition here, I can simply right click, or if I wanted to prevent re reactivation, or this is where I add my shortcut. So I want to add F4 as a shortcut key for that. And we can show it on the playout panel. So I'm simply right clicking on any of those timeline tabs, that's where we can set those transition properties. Now let's add a master transition. And as we showed you before, two different ways of getting it in, either dragging it in like that. And that's where I can set my properties to that. If I just wanted to remove it, click right click and remove from transition. Or I can add it to the current transition by right clicking in the scene graph. So those are the changes to the transition properties in Lyric X.